today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Captain America Civil War Miniverse Giant Man and Ant Man. Up to the point of finding this this time that I picked this up, I've never seen this ever. This was I don't know what happened. I well, let me rephrase that. I actually do know what happened because it seems like whenever a movie is getting near the end of its run, for some reason or another here in Canada, perhaps other places as well, we start getting just an, an influx of, uh, of new toys. They just start showing up in shelves and it's like, where did these come from? Because they weren't out months prior. This might be a good example as well, the Giant Man and Ant-Man. Although Giant Man, well, like, it looks like half of him is at the bottom of the packaging. Whereas his smaller counterpart is riding two ants, which I kind of think is neat. Uh, the back of the package, there is what the full-size giant man will look like. And a read-up says when Scott Lang suits up for battle, he shows that heroes exist in at any scale. To check out more from Avengers, you can go to www.hasbro.com forward slash Avengers. Again, no idea where this toy was months ago, but we're going to have a look at it now. That being said, Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Captain America Civil War, Giant Man, and Ant-Man from Miniverse. There's more heading your way. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Okay, so when you get them out of the packaging, you're immediately treated to Giant Man, who is half the man he used to be. Now, it's half in the sense that he has no legs to speak of, but he does come with legs. The legs just simply plug into place, and I took the liberty of leaving them off until I start shooting this part of the review. I'm just going to go ahead and snap them into place, like that, and snap the other one into place. It's a bit of a snugger fit. There we go. And there's Giant Man. <laughs> well, he's giant in the sense that he's giant compared to little tiny Ant-Man, but certainly from a scaling it compared to like a three and three quarter inch figure, He's just a little bit bigger. It frustrates me to no end that uh, these particular figures are so chintzed out when it comes to articulation. Uh, just overall, it's just like they don't care. That being said, leaving it uh, several months from now, who's to say that Hasbro doesn't just trickle out a few fully poseable figures like we've seen them do before with like Age of Ultron where all of a sudden you just get a Scarlet Witch figure that it's like, I don't, where was the Scarlet Witch months prior? Same thing could be said probably for Giant Man. Giant Man may just pop up out of nowhere as a poseable Hasbro release. Who's to say? Of course, we've had the Marvel Legends releases of these guys too, but this just is on a level of sheer disappointment. For starters, he is pre-posed in that his legs, one leg is moved forward than the other, like he's towering over you. Imagine he's just stomping through the airport, uh, trampling and knocking over the other superheroes. But unfortunately, he doesn't stand very well. In, well, in this area, he doesn't stand in this backdrop area. On a flatter surface, maybe it may not be so much of an issue, but pre-posing him probably wasn't the greatest of ideas to start off with. And then again, releasing this guy with zero posability other than, you know, head, shoulders, and legs. That's basically all you're getting. You're not even getting torso articulation, which could have also gone a long way too. I could say at least that he does have ball joints in the head, or at least a ball joint in the head, which is something. It's not much, but at least it's something. Why they could not have incorporated that into the arms or the legs is beyond me. Yes, he does have posability, but because he's got a V cut on the lower torso, he's got the weird possibility that he's never quite looking right. Whereas if it was at least ball joints, you could get something a little bit better going. It does also have a notable swivel in the arms, which you probably have seen me playing with over the course of this video. So at least he does have that too. Ooh. Calling it also Miniverse and seeing the size of Ant-Man, my immediate thought process is that he would have opened up and he had, would have had some activity playset inside. That's why they would have called it Miniverse. But no, Miniverse is just simply small, small figures. Giant Man's a regular size figure to a three and three quarter inch, but then, you know, you have Ant-Man as the smaller figure release. So there's Giant Man. Coloring, I'll at least give the coloring. The paint's good but it's just such a throwaway figure. 
why they waste money to produce these. These are just ultimately going to be peg warmers, which I'm sure is going to be the case with Giant Man here and Ant Man. They're going to just be peg warmers. Nobody's going to buy these. They're going to get marked down to 25 cents, and that's that line. In the meantime, though, not to be so negative here, but here is Ant Man. Ant Man, I got to admit, is pretty cool. He is just a rubber piece. There's nothing. Don't get your hopes up, guys. There's no possibility to speak of this guy. But at least the fact that he's riding two ants, you got to give him that. Guys, he's riding two ants. Paint on him for as small as he is is pretty good, actually. Let's see if we can get some better close-ups going on here. One of the beauties of using this particular camera. There he is right there. Yeah, his head's sculpted quite nicely, and so is his torso. The paint has not been omitted. Eyes are at least painted in in a red color. The ants are absolutely devoid of any sort of paint. That could have gone a long way, but sadly they just left it all off. But ants being that they are black in nature, you could probably just write that off to, well, at least they're black. And as opposed to like a gray ant or something, some unnatural color for plastic. Uh, speaking of plastic, the plastic on these are very pliable, very rubbery in nature. Uh, like also that, I don't know what he's strapped these to, as it just looks like he's plugged the harness right into their necks. But he is at least riding two ants. That goes a long way with me. At least I can kind of pair that up to a three and three quarter inch figure. I could have some fun going that way. Although the ants obviously are the wrong scale. Giant Man, on the other hand, I have to say, of the two figures, despite the fact that he is a little bit larger, you know, I have to admit, he is a little on the more disappointing side. This posability is just inexcusable. Pardon me, but it is inexcusable for 2016 for a company to waste plastic supplies paying whoever number of employees working in your facility to produce garbage like this. The posability is so limited. You know, the, the sculpt is great. Why that could not have been translated production-wise, incorporating ball joints or incorporating hinge joints, something to make this figure redeemable. Uh, for a kid to pick this up, you know, he can get some mileage or she can get mileage out of it. But it's, it's crap, guys. It is real crap. And it frustrates me that Hasbro continues to churn out when movie time comes around. Absolute garbage. This is a step up from the smaller figures, but it's still crap, unfortunately. Today's Toy Spot, Spot was just tearing this one a new one. We were having a look today at the Miniverse. I think it was called Miniverse. Who cares? Who really cares? We were having a look, though, at Captain America Civil War. This was Giant Man, who doesn't stand, and at least we had little Ant-Man with two ants. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Hopefully better toys. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time. Crap.